Protactinium, formerly protoactinium, is a chemical element with symbol Pa and atomic number 91. It is a dense, silvery-gray actinide metal which readily reacts with oxygen, water vapor, and inorganic acids. It forms various chemical compounds in which protactinium is usually present in the oxidation state plus 5, but it can also assume plus 4 and even plus 3 or plus 2 states. Concentrations of protactinium in the Earth's crust are typically a few parts per trillion, but may reach up to a few parts per million in some uraninite ore deposits. Because of its scarcity, high radioactivity and high toxicity, there are currently no uses for protactinium outside scientific research, and for this purpose, protactinium is mostly extracted from spent nuclear fuel. Protactinium was first identified in 1913 by Casimir Fagens and Oswald Helmuth Göring and named brevium because of the short half-life of the specific isotope studied, i.e. protactinium-234. A more stable isotope of protactinium, 231 pascals, was discovered in 1917–18 by Otto Hahn and Lise Meitner, and they chose the name protoactinium, but the IUPAC finally named it, protactinium. In 1949 and confirmed Hahn and Meitner as discoverers. The new name meant, "...nuclear precursor of actinium", and reflected that actinium is a product of radioactive decay of protactinium. John Arnold Cranston working with Frederick Soddy and Ada Hitchens is also credited with discovering the most stable isotope in 1915, but delayed his announcement due to being called up for service in the First World War. The longest lived and most abundant, nearly 100%, naturally occurring isotope of protactinium, protactinium 231, has a half-life of 32,760 years and is a decay product of uranium 235. Much smaller trace amounts of the short-lived nuclear isomer protactinium-234 m occur in the decay chain of uranium-238. Protactinium-233 results from the decay of thorium-233 as part of the chain of events used to produce uranium-233 by neutron irradiation of thorium-232. It is an undesired intermediate product in thorium-based nuclear reactors and is therefore removed from the active zone of the reactor during the breeding process. Analysis of the relative concentrations of various uranium, thorium and protactinium isotopes in water and minerals is used in radiometric dating of sediments which are up to 175,000 years old and in modeling of various geological processes. History in 1871, Dmitry Mendeleev predicted the existence of an element between thorium and uranium. The actinide element group was unknown at the time. Therefore, uranium was positioned below tungsten in group 6, and thorium below zirconium in group 4, leaving the space below tantalum in group 5 empty and, until the 1950s, periodic tables were published with this structure. For a long time chemists searched for aca tantalum as an element with similar chemical properties to tantalum, making a discovery of protactinium nearly impossible. Tantalum's heavier analogue was later found to be the transuranic element dubnium. In 1900, William Crookes isolated protactinium as an intensely radioactive material from uranium, however, he could not characterize it as a new chemical element and thus named it uranium X -UX. Crookes dissolved uranium nitrate in ether. The residual aqueous phase contains most of the 23,490th and 23,491 pascals. His method was still used in the 1950s to isolate 23,490th and 23,491 pascals from uranium compounds. Protactinium was first identified in 1913, when Casimir Fagens and Oswald Helmuth Göring encountered the isotope 234 pascals during their studies of the decay chains of uranium-238, 23892U23490, 23491 pascals 23492U. They named the new element brevium from the Latin word, brevis, meaning brief or short because of its short half-life, 6.7 hours for 23,491 pascals. In 1917–18, two groups of scientists, Otto Hahn and Lise Meitner of Germany and Frederick Soddy and John Cranston of Great Britain, independently discovered another isotope of protactinium, 231 pascals having a much longer half-life of about 32,000 years. 
Thus the name brevium was changed to protoactinium as the new element was part of the decay chain of uranium-235 as the parent of actinium from Greek, protos equals protos meaning first, before. For ease of pronunciation, the name was shortened to protactinium by the IUPAC in 1949. The discovery of protactinium completed one of the last gaps in the early versions of the periodic table, proposed by Mendeleev in 1869, and it brought to fame the involved scientists. Aristide von Gross produced 2 mg of Pa205 in 1927, and in 1934 first isolated elemental protactinium from 0.1 mg of Pa205. He used two different procedures, in the first one, protactinium oxide was irradiated by 35 keV electrons in vacuum. In another method, called the van Arkel de Boer process, the oxide was chemically converted to a halide chloride, bromide or iodide and then reduced in a vacuum with an electrically heated metallic filament. 2π5 2 Pa plus 5I2 In 1961, the United Kingdom Atomic Energy Authority produced 127 grams of 99.9% .9 pure protactinium-231 by processing 60 tons of waste material in a 12-stage process, at a cost of about US$500,000. For many years, this was the world's only significant supply of protactinium, which was provided to various laboratories for scientific studies. Oak Ridge National Laboratory in the U.S. provided protactinium at a cost of about US$280 per gram. Isotopes 29 radioisotopes of protactinium have been discovered, the most stable being 231 pascals with a half-life of 32,760 years, 233 pascals with a half-life of 27 days, and 230 pascals with a half-life of 17.4 days. All of the remaining isotopes have half-lives shorter than 1.6 days, and the majority of these have half-lives less than 1.8 seconds. Protactinium also has two nuclear isomers, 217 mPa and 234 mPa .The primary decay mode for isotopes of protactinium lighter than and including the most stable isotope 231 Pa i.e., 212 Pa to 231 Pa is alpha decay and the primary mode for the heavier isotopes i.e., 232 Pa to 240 Pa is beta decay. The primary decay products of isotopes of protactinium lighter than and including 231 pascals are actinium isotopes and the primary decay products for the heavier isotopes of protactinium are uranium isotopes. Occurrence Protactinium is one of the rarest and most expensive naturally occurring elements. It is found in the form of two isotopes 231 pascals and 234 pascals, with the isotope 234 pascals occurring in two different energy states. Nearly all natural protactinium is protactinium-231. It is an alpha emitter and is formed by the decay of uranium-235, whereas the beta-radiating protactinium-234 is produced as a result of uranium-238 decay. Nearly all uranium-238 decays first to the shorter-lived 234 mPa isomer. Protactinium occurs in uraninite pitch blend at concentrations of about 0.3 to 3 parts 231 pascals per million parts ppm of ore. Whereas the usual content is closer to 0.3 ppm e.g. in Yakimov, Czech Republic, some ores from the Democratic Republic of the Congo have about 3 ppm. Protactinium is homogeneously dispersed in most natural materials and in water, but at much lower concentrations on the order of one part per trillion, that corresponds to the radioactivity of 0.1 picocuries per gram. There is about 500 times more protactinium in sandy soil particles than in water, even the water present in the same sample of soil. Much higher ratios of 2000 and above are measured in loam soils and clays, such as bentonite in nuclear reactors. Two major protactinium isotopes, 231 pascals and 233 pascals, are produced from thorium in nuclear reactors, both are undesirable and are usually removed, thereby adding complexity to the reactor design and operation. 
In particular, 232 Th via N2N reactions produces 231Th which quickly half-life 25.5 hours decays to 231 pascals. The last isotope, while not a transuranic waste, has a long half-life of 32,760 years and is a major contributor to the long-term radiotoxicity of spent nuclear fuel. Protactinium-233 is formed upon neutron capture by 232th. It further either decays to uranium-233 or captures another neutron and converts into the non-fissile uranium-234. 233 pascals has a relatively long half-life of 27 days and high cross-section for neutron capture, the so-called neutron poison. Thus instead of rapidly decaying to the useful 233U, a significant fraction of 233 pascals converts to non-fissile isotopes and consumes neutrons, degrading the reactor efficiency. To avoid this, 233 pascals is extracted from the active zone of thorium molten salt reactors, during their operation, so that it only decays to 233U. This is achieved using several meters tall columns of molten bismuth with lithium dissolved in it. In a simplified scenario, lithium selectively reduces protactinium salts to protactinium metal which is then extracted from the molten salt cycle, and bismuth is merely a carrier. It is chosen because of its low melting point 271 degrees Celsius, low vapor pressure, good solubility for lithium and actinides, and immiscibility with molten halides. Preparation before the advent of nuclear reactors, protactinium was separated for scientific experiments from uranium ores. Nowadays, it is mostly produced as an intermediate product of nuclear fission in thorium high temperature reactors. Th 90 232 plus N 0 1 th 90 233 22 3 min beta minus pa 91 233 Twenty-six point nine six seven D Beta minus U ninety two two hundred thirty three Display style C E carrot two hundred thirty two underscore ninety TH plus carrot one underscore zero N to carrot two hundred thirty three underscore ninety TH two beta carrot twenty two point three C E min carrot two hundred thirty three underscore ninety one pa two beta carrot twenty six point nine six seven C E D carrot two hundred thirty three underscore ninety two U the times are half lives. Protactinium metal can be prepared by reduction of its fluoride with calcium fluoride, lithium, or barium at a temperature of 1300 to 1400 degrees Celsius. Physical and chemical properties Protactinium is an actinide which is positioned in the periodic table to the left of uranium and to the right of thorium, and many of its physical properties are intermediate between those two actinides. So, protactinium is more dense and rigid than thorium but is lighter than uranium, and its melting point is lower than that of thorium and higher than that of uranium. The thermal expansion, electrical and thermal conductivities of these three elements are comparable and are typical of post-transition metals. The estimated shear modulus of protactinium is similar to that of titanium. Protactinium is a metal with silvery-gray luster that is preserved for some time in air. Protactinium easily reacts with oxygen, water vapor and acids, but not with alkalis. At room temperature, protactinium crystallizes in the body-centered tetragonal structure which can be regarded as distorted body-centered cubic lattice. This structure does not change upon compression up to 53 GPa. The structure changes to face-centered cubic (FCC) upon cooling from high temperature at about 1200 degrees Celsius. 
The thermal expansion coefficient of the tetragonal phase between room temperature and 700 degrees Celsius is 9.9 times 10 minus 6 per degrees Celsius. Protactinium is paramagnetic, and no magnetic transitions are known for it at any temperature. It becomes superconductive at temperatures below 1.4 K. Protactinium tetrachloride is paramagnetic at room temperature but turns ferromagnetic upon cooling to 182 K. Protactinium exists in two major oxidation states, plus 4 and plus 5, both in solids and solutions, and the plus 3 and plus 2 states were observed in some solid phases. As the electron configuration of the neutral atom is 5F26D17 2, the plus 5 oxidation state corresponds to the low energy and thus favored 5F0 configuration. Both plus 4 and plus 5 states easily form hydroxides in water with the predominant ions being Pa 3 plus, Pa 2 plus 2, Pa 3 and Pa 4, all colorless. Other known protactinium ions include PaCl2 plus 2, PaSO2 plus 4, PaF3 plus, PaF2 plus 2, PaF minus 6, PaF2 minus 7 and PaF3 minus 8. Chemical compounds Here A, B and C are lattice constants in picometers, NO is space group number and Z is the number of formula units per unit cell, FCC stands for the face-centered cubic symmetry. Density was not measured directly but calculated from the lattice parameters. Oxides and oxygen-containing salts Protactinium oxides are known for the metal oxidation states plus 2, plus 4 and plus 5. The most stable is white pentoxide Pa2O5, which can be produced by igniting protactinium v hydroxide in air at a temperature of 500 degrees Celsius. Its crystal structure is cubic, and the chemical composition is often non-stoichiometric, described as Pau2.25. Another phase of this oxide with orthorhombic symmetry has also been reported. The black dioxide Pau2 is obtained from the pentoxide by reducing it at 1550 degrees Celsius with hydrogen. It is not readily soluble in either dilute or concentrated nitric, hydrochloric or sulfuric acids, but easily dissolves in hydrofluoric acid. The dioxide can be converted back to pentoxide by heating an oxygen-containing atmosphere to 1100 degrees Celsius. The monoxide POW has only been observed as a thin coating on protactinium metal, but not in an isolated bulk form. Protactinium forms mixed binary oxides with various metals. With alkali metals A, the crystals have a chemical formula APAO3 and perovskite structure, or A3 POW4 and distorted rock salt structure, or A7 POW6 where oxygen atoms form a hexagonal close packed lattice. In all these materials, protactinium ions are octahedrally coordinated. The pentoxide Pa2O5 combines with rare earth metal oxides R2O3 to form various non stoichiometric mixed oxides, also of perovskite structure. Protactinium oxides are basic, they easily convert to hydroxides and can form various salts, such as sulfates, phosphates, nitrates, etc. The nitrate is usually white but can be brown due to radiolytic decomposition. Heating the nitrate in air at 400 degrees Celsius converts it to the white protactinium pentoxide. The polytrioxophosphate Pa 4 can be produced by reacting difluoride sulfate PaF2SO4 with phosphoric acid H3PO4 under inert gas atmosphere. Heating the product to about 900 degrees Celsius eliminates the reaction by products such as hydrofluoric acid, sulfur trioxide and phosphoric anhydride. Heating to higher temperatures in an inert atmosphere decomposes Pa 4 into the diphosphate PAP207, which is analogous to diphosphates of other actinides. In the diphosphate, the PO3 groups form pyramids of C2V symmetry. Heating PAP207 in air to 1400 degrees Celsius decomposes it into the pentoxides of phosphorus and protactinium. Halides Protactinium v fluoride forms white crystals where protactinium ions are arranged in pentagonal bipyramids and coordinated by seven other ions. The coordination is the same in protactinium v chloride, but the color is yellow. The coordination changes to octahedral in the brown protactinium v bromide and is unknown for protactinium v iodide. 
The protactinium coordination in all its tetrahalides is 8, but the arrangement is square antiprismatic in protactinium IV fluoride and dodecahedral in the chloride and bromide. Brown colored protactinium iodide has been reported where protactinium ions are 8 coordinated in a bicapped trigonal prismatic arrangement. Protactinium v fluoride and protactinium v chloride have a polymeric structure of monoclinic symmetry. There, within one polymeric chain, all the halide atoms lie in one graphite like plane and form planar pentagons around the protactinium ions. The coordination 7 of protactinium originates from the five halide atoms and two bonds to protactinium atoms belonging to the nearby chains. These compounds easily hydrolyze in water. The pentachloride melts at 300 degrees Celsius and sublimates at even lower temperatures. Protactinium v fluoride can be prepared by reacting protactinium oxide with either bromine pentafluoride or bromine trifluoride at about 600 degrees Celsius, and protactinium IV fluoride is obtained from the oxide and a mixture of hydrogen and hydrogen fluoride at 600 degrees Celsius. A large excess of hydrogen is required to remove atmospheric oxygen leaks into the reaction. Protactinium v chloride is prepared by reacting protactinium oxide with carbon tetrachloride at temperature of 200 to 300 100 degrees Celsius. The by-products such as PaOCl3 are removed by fractional sublimation. Reduction of protactinium v chloride with hydrogen at about 800 degrees Celsius yields protactinium IV chloride, a yellow-green solid which sublimes in vacuum at 400 degrees Celsius. It can also be obtained directly from protactinium dioxide by treating it with carbon tetrachloride at 400 degrees Celsius. Protactinium bromides are produced by the action of aluminium bromide, hydrogen bromide, carbon tetrabromide, or a mixture of hydrogen bromide and thionyl bromide on protactinium oxide. An alternative reaction is between protactinium pentachloride and hydrogen bromide or thionyl bromide. Protactinium v bromide has two similar monoclinic forms, one is obtained by sublimation at 400 to 410 degrees Celsius and another by sublimation at slightly lower temperature of 390 to 400 degrees Celsius. Protactinium iodides result from the oxides and aluminium iodide or ammonium iodide heated to 600 degrees Celsius. Protactinium iodide was obtained by heating protactinium iodide in vacuum. As with oxides, protactinium forms mixed halides with alkali metals. Among those, most remarkable is Na3PaF8 where protactinium ion is symmetrically surrounded by 8F- ions which form a nearly perfect cube. More complex protactinium fluorides are also known such as Pa2F9 and ternary fluorides of the types MPaF6 -M. Li, Na, K, R, B, Cs or NH4, M2, PaF7, M. K, R, B, Cs or NH4 and M3, PaF8, M. Li, Na, R, B, Cs, all being white crystalline solids. The MPaF6 formula can be represented as a combination of MF and PaF5. These compounds can be obtained by evaporating a hydrofluoric acid solution containing these both complexes. For the small alkali cations like Na, the crystal structure is tetragonal, whereas it lowers to orthorhombic for larger cations K+, Rb+, Cs+, or NH4+. A similar variation was observed for the M2PaF7 fluorides, namely the crystal symmetry was dependent on the cation and differed for Cs 2 paf 7 and M2PaF7 M. K, R, B or NH4 Other inorganic compounds Oxyhalides and oxysulfides of protactinium are known. PaOBr3 has a monoclinic structure composed of double chain units where protactinium has coordination 7 and is arranged into pentagonal bipyramids. The chains are interconnected through oxygen and bromine atoms, and each oxygen atom is related to three protactinium atoms. PAUS is a light yellow non volatile solid with a cubic crystal lattice isostructural to that of other actinide oxysulfides. It is obtained by reacting protactinium v chloride with a mixture of hydrogen sulfide and carbon disulfide at 900 degrees Celsius. In hydrides and nitrides, protactinium has a low oxidation state of about plus 3. 
The hydride is obtained by direct action of hydrogen on the metal at 250 degrees Celsius, and the nitride is a product of ammonia and protactinium tetrachloride or pentachloride. This bright yellow solid is stable to heating to 800 degrees Celsius in vacuum. Protactinium carbide pack is formed by reduction of protactinium tetrafluoride with barium in a carbon crucible at a temperature of about 1,400 degrees Celsius. Protactinium forms borohydrides which include Pa BH4 It has an unusual polymeric structure with helical chains where the protactinium atom has coordination number of 12 and is surrounded by 6 BH4- ions. Organometallic compounds Protactinium IV forms a tetrahedral complex tetricus cyclopentadienyl protactinium IV or Pa C5H5 4 with four cyclopentadienyl rings, which can be synthesized by reacting protactinium IV chloride with molten B C5H5 2. One ring can be substituted with a halide atom. Another organometallic complex is golden yellow bis pi cyclooctatrane protactinium or protactinosine pa C8H8 2 which is analogous in structure to uranosine. There the metal atom is sandwiched between two cyclooctatrane ligands. Similar to uranosine it can be prepared by reacting protactinium tetrachloride with dipotassium cyclooctatranide K2C8H8 in tetrahydrofuran. Applications Although protactinium is located in the periodic table between uranium and thorium, which both have numerous applications, owing to its scarcity, high radioactivity and high toxicity, there are currently no uses for protactinium outside scientific research. Protactinium 231 arises from the decay of uranium 235 formed in nuclear reactors and by the reaction 232th plus N 231th plus 2N and subsequent beta decay. It was once thought to be able to support a nuclear chain reaction, which could in principle be used to build nuclear weapons. The physicist Walter Seyfritz once estimated the associated critical mass as 750 plus or minus 180 kg. However, the possibility of criticality of 231 pascals has been ruled out since then, with the advent of highly sensitive mass spectrometers, an application of 231 pascals as a tracer in geology and paleoceanography has become possible. So, the ratio of protactinium-231 to thorium-230 is used for radiometric dating of sediments which are up to 175,000 years old and in modeling of the formation of minerals. In particular, its evaluation in oceanic sediments allowed to reconstruct the movements of North Atlantic water bodies during the last melting of Ice Age glaciers. Some of the protactinium-related dating variations rely on the analysis of the relative concentrations for several long-living members of the uranium decay chain, uranium, protactinium, and thorium, for example. These elements have 6, 5 and 4 valence electrons and thus favor plus 6, plus 5 and plus 4 oxidation states, respectively, and show different physical and chemical properties. So, thorium and protactinium, but not uranium compounds, are poorly soluble in aqueous solutions and precipitate into sediments. The precipitation rate is faster for thorium than for protactinium. Besides, the concentration analysis for both protactinium 231, half-life 32,760 years, and thorium 230, half-life 75,380 years, allows to improve the accuracy compared to when only one isotope is measured. This double isotope method is also weakly sensitive to inhomogeneities in the spatial distribution of the isotopes and to variations in their precipitation rate. Precautions. Protactinium is both toxic and highly radioactive and thus all manipulations with it are performed in a sealed glove box. Its major isotope 231 pascals has a specific activity of 0.048 curies 1. 8 GBq per gram and primarily emits alpha particles with an energy of 5 MeV, which can be stopped by a thin layer of any material. However, it slowly decays, with a half life of 32,760 years, into 227 AC, which has a specific activity of 74 curies 2,700 GBq per gram, emits both alpha and beta radiation, and has a much shorter half life of 22 years. 
227 AC, in turn, decays into lighter isotopes with even shorter half-lives and much greater specific activities saw, as summarized in the table below showing the decay chain of protactinium-231. As protactinium is present in small amounts in most natural products and materials, it is ingested with food or water and inhaled with air. Only about 0.05% of ingested protactinium is absorbed into the blood and the remainder is excreted. From the blood, about 40% of the protactinium deposits in the bones, about 15% goes to the liver, 2% to the kidneys, and the rest leaves the body. The biological half-life of protactinium is about 50 years in the bones, whereas in other organs the kinetics has a fast and slow component. So in the liver 70% of protactinium have a half-life of 10 days and 30% remain for 60 days. The corresponding values for kidneys are 20% days and 80% 60 days. In all these organs, protactinium promotes cancer via its radioactivity. The maximum safe dose of PA in the human body is 0.03 μc which corresponds to 0.5 micrograms of 231 pascals. This isotope is 2.5 times 108 times more toxic than hydrocyanic acid. The maximum allowed concentrations of 231 pascals in the air in Germany is 3 times 10 minus 4 becquerels per cubic meter. See also Ada Hitchens, who helped Saadi to discover the element protactinium. References Bibliography Greenwood, Norman N., Earnshaw, Allen Chemistry of the Elements Butterworth-Heinemann. ISBN 0080379419 External links Protactinium at the Periodic Table of Videos University of Nottingham